Funding for the NHS stood at over £10 billion. But by the late 80s, government cuts left the service with 37% less cash. So that's only 3% in real terms. So what in the end will happen to this? Chris. Thank you, Fina. I'm joined now by the Junior Minister of Health in our one-to-one -one discussion area, Matthew Crean. Now, Mr Crean, you've taken the money out of the NHS. You're the man responsible here. What do you say? I want, I want to say I, I want to discuss this report. Well, let's not discuss this report. Let's discuss the figures. No, We're we have to discuss the report because this report is a tissue of lies. It is Hang as on a usual. second. Let's just stick to the figures, shall we? You're destroying the lives of patients. What do you say about no, that? No, I want to stick to this report. This report is a tissue of lies. It's completely jaundiced. What are you it's saying? Lies? Abs absolute lies. It's, it's nonsense from beginning to end. How lies. dare you say this? I want to take... I think this report is a perfect example of tabloid television. Right, and I'm it's not very well. listen to this. I'm not having any more of this. I didn't come here for this evening. I certainly didn't want to talk to people. Like you. Uh, don't ever come back again. I really don't have any anyway. I'm going anyway. I'm off. I'm coming back. The day today. Bagpiping fact into news. Environation from me, Rosie May. The war raging between two nations of crabs in the Bay of Biscay has claimed more human lives. Last night, a Portuguese trawler was dragged underwater by the turbulence of a massive battle between over 400 million crabs fighting for territory on the ocean floor. Blinking. In England, over 700 million hours a year are spent blinking. That's why a Leeds firm has built a special light which switches itself off for the duration of each blink. The device is also triggered by other activities which don't require light, such as sleeping and grieving. I'm Rosie May and the world is at my teat. Staying now with the world, but it's the human world this time, which is around the animal world and sometimes on top of it making a, a politics and events rather than environment stuff uh, with the day-to-day -day international news roundup <music> Moscow hello Chris here in Moscow it's Russia's chronic nuclear waste problem that's dominating the news live this hour the latest plan is to hand out small parcels of plutonium waste to school children Nuclear experts visit schools and the children are taught songs celebrating the efficiency of atomic power. At the end of the day, the children queue up for their plutonium, which comes in a bag, bearing the instruction, take this home and deal with it. Tokyo! Thanking you live from Tokyo, where it's 3.30 in the morning. That's minus seven in new Japanese time. In just seven hours, the first of 30 full-size duplicate Japans will be switched on, and all clocks will be reset to 0000. The new Japans have been three years in construction, involving perfect replication of cities and people and children. The raft of new countries, which extends over 5,000 miles into the Pacific, has been hidden until now, but was spotted yesterday from an airplane. Japan has so far refused to comment. Rome! Live thanks from Rome, where the two French boys who hacked into the Vatican computers and changed Catholic doctrine are still being held by cardinals in Assisi. In a sensational development today, a video showing Stefan and Jed Madro, bruised but alive, was broadcast on Italian television with Vatican approval. <laughs> The boys were snatched from the street two days ago and held in a turret after admitting they had tapped into the new Vatican Theology Bank, a computer which contains the full doctrine and law of the Catholic Church. The Vatican realized the computer had been tampered with when they discovered Jesus had died of food poisoning age 19 and Lou Reed had been canonized as a saint. And that's the way the world is today from Rome. From Tokyo. And from Moscow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Chris. Yes. Wrong, all of you, because Calatoli's sisters is doing the business, not me. Thanks, Chris. And there was a big whoop of dismay in the city today, Chris, when Troublefinch Dusky Holdings chopped off an eighth at 2.4 after a disappointing gutter surge tomorrow, Chris. 
The Central Numerical Council issued the new 7 today. It'll be three kilos heavier than the old 7 and made of glass. Chris, Clatley Sisters. SPAC handy chop tubes up 2.4, but let's see how the pound fared today with a quick look at the currency Susan. And as you can see, it started off the day quite healthily as a medium Susan, while the yen surged to a quite attractive, popular Susan by close of trading, with the mark resting on a plain, dumpy Susan with bad ears. Chris, summary, business, Chris. Your complaints. This is my complaint, right? TV is the most un Kinning, unhappening, unsucceeded piece of sheet in the hood right now. You've got to get it. Totally discount you. More in the area, see, I'm talking. More ragger, more boggle, more death metal and Belgian house. You hear me? Let's get TV banging, mud the far cuss. When I drive my car, I am not driving. I am participating in a conspiracy called traffic. I will walk. Time now for the weather from Sylvester Stewart on the Weather Pinball. Starting tonight in the southwest, where it should rain in drops the size of a wrestler, but fortunately, most of the rain they're not quite reaching the ground. On now to Scotland and the north of England, quite warm, about the temperature of a cow. However, a very stupid area of low pressure moving in from the Midlands will bring some heavy breezes later on. A bit like the first rush of euphoria induced by a large dose of heroin. On to the northeast, there'll be some heavy thunder there, about as loud as a woman. So the summary then? Cool showers wet, cool showers wet, cool showers wet, cool showers wet, cool showers wet. Time now for Alan Partridge. Got some sport for us? Certainly have, Chris. Great. And just some late night soccer results. Here they are for, t for Division 2. Sheffield Bonanza 1, Dynamo Aberdare 4. Manchester Coherent 2, Jill Morrell 2. And the Scottish Division 1 game between Taste of Dunfermline and Strath Carnage cannot be stopped. Good night. Your complaints. This, this is my complaint, right? TV is the most unkinking, unhappening, unsus piece of sheet in the hood right now. Look at the lens, please. Oh, sorry. You've got to get it. Totally discount you. More in the area, see? I'm talking more rugger, more boogle, more death, mental and... Death metal. Bel death metal and Belgian house. You hear me? Let's get TV banging, mud, far, mud the far cuss. And look at the camera again and nod your head as you say that. Uh, mud the far cuss. Uh, and let's say that again once more into the camera, the last bit. Uh, mud the far cuss. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Back now to the day-to-day -day documentary on the efforts of Lester Beck to revamp the people and offices of Cluberox Chemicals in Windsor. Okay, let's make... The Day three, and Lester Beck places a powerful new variable in the office environment. If we released a live pig into the office, how would you be able to cope? <laughs> Lisa. What, the pig that's... our anger? Within us. Oh, pig. A real pig, what would happen? Would you be able to cope? Let's see. Okay, please release the pig. What? Release the pig, please. Oh, Thank no, you. it's a pig. Okay, a this pig. is Snorkel. Say hello to Snorkel the pig. Get involved with the pig. Get involved with the pig. It's standard practice in Events International to intertextualize This is my off. This is my off. Get the pig. Get a nice. Get a knife, I'll kill, let's kill it! Stop it! Get a knife or something! This is my office! I, I, you have to and I, I think, will you, and he, shush, because it might, might drop his baby! Stop shouting! He might have a baby! It will if you keep shouting. Listen to Christine, let, she's speaking paper? sense here. And you stop shouting, and please. Can we just, just, let's just put some paper down and keep it happy. Right. Come on now. Come on, Peg! Come on, Christine. Come on. Oh, we've got an apple on the <laughs> Hello. See, the pig doesn't care oh. about you, but you care about the pig. Shh. This is your problem. Could you get to my desk, please? Yes, hello. Um, um, we're a bit, we're a bit uh, tied up at the moment. Can you, can, uh, can you wait? Tell him about the pig. We, we, we've got uh, in the... 
we've got a, um, something uh, happening. Uh, uh, so, I'm so sorry. We, we've got a, a pig in the office. A pig. Yes, yes, it is a real one. Please continue that conversation. Meanwhile, in training sessions, one employee, John Histons, questions Beck's techniques. You, let me ask you your question. When you go to the toilet, do you uh, have an uh, Armitage Shanks interface defecation scenario, or do you just have a shit? Mummy's gone, and you want to cry like a baby. You. <laughs> That's good, John. <laughs> Help him onto the carpet. And John, John, I want you to imagine that the carpet is your mother. Beat up on your mom who left you. Go on. Get, get, get it out, John. Go on. Go on, hit it. Hit it, John. Don't cheat on yourself. Imagine it's your mother. Go on. It's your mother. Where did you go? go on. Kick it. Go on, kick it. She well. left you, John. Kick she didn't understand that really? you were suffering, get and it's up. taken you 25 years to get, get over it. it. Really, get but you're it back. doing it now, John. Me That's good. Years. Just get Beat up there. on the carpet. Just go on, John. Don't give up. Just, she's taken all the best years of my life. Christine, Just Christine, there. Christine. Don't get too excited. OK, let's look at next week, please. Um, Three months later, the office at Kluberox has been rationalised. Can you tell them to ring back in five, please? Um, and the Egham account, can I'll you... I'll do on the same day as um, coffee. Tonight. Excellent. No problem. Good. Uh, Lisa, now, the dry calling in the Windsor area was very weak last week. If you could really push it next week, that would be excellent, OK? Yes, I can. Brilliant, that's all. For John Histons, the training course was his last memory of the company. He left shortly after it to follow a new direction. A lot of people are very surprised, you know, that I, I uh, ended up in a, in a butcher's. But uh, at that, the office, well, it wasn't really me, you know. Uh, but here, um, you know, I, I know I've got exactly what to do. I like meat. I like working with meat. I'm happy with it. I, in a way, I respect it more than people. And if you were to see Lester Beck again, how would you react? Uh, of course, I'd stab him with this knife, yeah. The Day Today. News Filch. And just time for a quick look at tomorrow's... Uh, the Independent Bank of England recovers from swollen chairman unusualness. Uh, the Telegraph go with Simon Rattle lost in Cress. The Daily Mail, pretty keen on lassoed bat wins Booker. They devote four pages to that. The Daily Mirror, rather upset. Fleetwood Mac buried in dog avalanche. And today, ride with old woman killed by little glass planet. It's a story there by Andrew Penman. Due to a printing error, tomorrow's Guardian is full of water. That's it. That's the day today on the day the world learned that Cliff Richard is pregnant. Good night. <laughs>